Today we're going to show you how to replace an ink bay on the rare occasion that your cartridge shows empty but it's full and you've tried a replacement cartridge and it continues to show empty, you may have to replace the ink bay. So step one is flip the power switch off in the back. This kills power to the entire machine. You'll hear the fan running for a little bit longer but once that fan is done then you know it's time or it's safe to go ahead and, and open up the ink bay. Here on the left hand or on the right hand side, depending on which direction you're facing, there are two hex nut screws that can be removed with a 2.5 metric hex nut uh, or uh, Allen wrench rather. So I'm going to take these out. That's a 2.5 metric Allen wrench. And you'll notice once I've taken these out, this ink drawer just slides right open. Actually, this, this frame comes off those nuts and then the drawer will slide right open from here you need a Phillips head screwdriver so I'll grab my Phillips and I will unscrew the back four Phillips screws and the back four hold in the guard plate and these four screws here on the ends you don't unscrew those all the way you just lightly loosen them and this will allow you to pull the guard cover off so we'll take the guard cover okay now the ink bay that we're going to replace on this machine is the white ink bay so i'm going to pull out my white ink cartridges I'm going to go to the guard over the white channel, which again is two Phillips head screws. And then I can take this guard off and keep these screws together with the guard so they're easier to find. That's good. Okay, so the next step is to remove the two screws with a number two metric Allen wrench from the front of the ink bay. And one more in the back. Let's see if you can see that back there. There's one more and a number two Allen wrench. It's very difficult to get to. It's the hardest part about this whole process. But once you get to it, you can slide the ink bay out. Not completely off, but you can slide it out. From there, you take two plugs which is in the replacement kit, and you pull out your white ink lines and plug them. And you just simply gently pull it out and then you can plug it. From there, you can remove the electronic cables. So the easiest way to do this is to just gently lift up close to the plug, holding the cable, just lift up and it'll pop right out. The black cable goes farthest left then you have this communication cable. And when you take this apart, you just gently pull apart and it will come out. Now notice this is the male end and there's another male end here. So you'll need to pull out both male ends, leaving you with this female piece. You need to use this piece to put the other ink bay back in. And again, you're just gonna gently pull out this cable, the purple one, and then the final one is this piece here. And notice I've kept the female and stuck to the rest of the ink bay. Then this entire ink bay can come back out. And this is what we'll send you so that you can then put the new one back in. Reassembly is pretty straightforward. It's very similar to the disassembly. First step is if you have any ink or anything, you can wipe it up. But first step is to simply slide. You have a, you have a, a plastic piece here and that simply slides in to the receptacle in the back and you'll feel it stop. And then you'll notice that the screw holes align in the front of the ink bay. So you'll take then your number two Allen wrench screws and screw this all back together. Uh, 
number two Allen wrench screws. And this goes pretty quickly once you've got the screws in. And then once your ink bay, and don't forget the one in the back, of course, the one back down there. Once you've got your ink bay in, look for your purple cable. Your purple cable will plug right into the receptacle at head number two, white two. You just push it in, make sure it's in all the way. You can put it in there and it's not completely seated. What I do is I use my fingernails and I push down on the plastic and that ensures that it's fully seated. Then I take my, my yellow black line and, I, and my red black line. The red black, the one that still has the female piece, goes right into the male piece so you can see and make sure it's seated nice and tight. And then the female piece that you got from the other uh, disassembly, you'll now put this back together. And it doesn't really matter in which direction. Uh, try to aim them all as the, like the rest, but they're, they're universal. Um, so you just wanna make sure that the pins are aligned. So once I've got those plugged all back in, I can then re-plug in my black cord on the left to the final slot here. And again, seat it down with my fingernails. And then I take my ink lines, which we have plugs on now. And the messy part that's coming is you simply take the plugs off. The long one goes in the far end. The short one goes into the closer end. Okay. And then I can put my guard back on. The guard holds the ink lines into, into the, the ink bay itself. So you just kind of, the guard will just kind of hold the ink line snug into the ink bay. And then you can screw these two pieces or these two screws back in. Okay. And you don't need to over tighten them. Just make sure that until they stop. Okay, so when I put my guard rail, this main guard back on, one of the things I wanna look for is I wanna avoid clamping down any um, ink or uh, electric lines. The best way to do this is just to slide the guard into the four screws and then lay the guard down and make sure you're not pinching any of the um, you know, ink lines or electric, electric lines. Um, from there, you can screw in the outside screws so that they're nice and snug, and that will hold the guard rail down or the guard uh, plate down. And then you can put the guard screws in on the back. Uh, the guard screws hold the ink bays in place on the outside, and it holds uh, or protects all the electronics and the ink lines. So... Um, if you lose a screw during this process, it's not the end of the world. Uh, just try and space out your screws. These ones are very important. You gotta make sure you got screws in all of those because that's what holds your ink cartridge in. But if you lost a screw during this process, which, oh no, I didn't. Okay, that's good. Then, um, yeah, and you'll notice here, like I gotta move the yellow ink line to get it out of the way so that I can screw this in because it was in the way. And then, all right, now I've got my guard back in. I can close my drawer, put my frame back on, load the white ink and turn it on. And that's it, that's how you replace an ink bay. Same thing for any of the other ink bays. Same exact process. You're just gonna disassemble, pull out the lines, plug them, put all the electronics back in when you get your new ink bay. But that's the uh, steps of process for replacing an ink bay on a Model X.